go ahead. Greatest man nor tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, it's he. Stupid race. So, it's a door after all. Great. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? I hate that guy. He will be back. Oh no, the boat isn't here. It's still back at the other side of the lake. Then we go back the way we came. The lift. We really got to go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then? I know. See where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. I am. How are we supposed to get across without a crystal? We find a crystal.
want to try using your eyes? There's a room just over there. Boy. <laughs> Sure you can handle carrying that? Don't want you to be lagging behind when we get attacked. Remain alert and quiet. it works. Yeah. Finally, we can use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here.
the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Bye. So? Was she in the light? Who? You know. No. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? I do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you, that's good to know. Really. So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? So, what were you telling me about Mom's War? Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? We have the strength to wield such a weapon and the wisdom. You're back. See you visit. Our observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does! I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me.
to work. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Who knew? Sure, that'll come in handy. If you're not in a hurry. Very well. To business. And what do you have your eye on? Well, if you don't need it, don't buy it. I always... 